Hello everyone and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And Eddie Jones has become the latest person to weigh in to the Rusty Erasmus debate about the video about the referee saying that it was disrespectful and not agreeing with the way Rusty Erasmus went about. We're going to talk a little bit about what Eddie Jones had to say as well as whether he had any actual right to talk about Rusty Erasmus and the referees given his history himself. Rusty Erasmus is currently in the process of going through his hearing which will hopefully happen in the next little week or two um, with World Rugby, and then a sort of sanction will take place at some stage. What exactly will happen and stuff, we don't know yet, but we will keep you updated with exactly what is going on as things do sort of materialize. Um, before we go on, please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. As always, a big thank you to Manscaped, who are currently supporting um, Forever Sports. You can get yourself 20% off as well as free shipping using the code forever at manscaped.com. They've got a range of products and on the number one brand for men's below the waist grooming you can get yourself your hands on one of these men's uh, manscape 4.0 lawnmowers which has some features such as wireless charging waterproof skin safe technology a little led light and everything like that so much and more on manscape.com use the code forever to get 20 percent off as well as free shipping they're supporting us so please do go and support them right so obviously the rusty rasmus thing continues to be quite a big and quite a contentious issue in terms of whether he was right to release the video about the referees um, we know what what sort of situation is, and there's sort of quite a lot of um, speculation as to what will happen to Rusty Rasmus in terms of a sanction from World Rugby. We do know this hearing is supposed to take place very very soon, and and we will then sort of know exactly what's going on. Then before then, you know, people have talked about potentially stadium ban, which would then um, take him out of the sort of the coaching staff in terms of being in the stadium at the time giving feedback, which will be the case this weekend. Rusty Rasmus has not flown over to Australia to part of the uh, Spring coaching setup whilst he deals with this hearing. Once that is all um, sorted, and if he can, then the, 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 the sounds like he will probably then travel over and link up with the squad depending on if he has time with quarantine and such. But Eddie Jones was speaking to Radio 5 and has um, had a lot to say about the incident. And I think that whilst everyone's entitled to their opinion, um, for Eddie Jones to come out and say that there is a right way to speak to the referee, which um, you know still has an element of respect, is very... It's pretty much about as hypocritical as it gets. You know, that whole sort of saying about glass houses and things. And I think Eddie Jones is probably the last person that gets to come out and, you know, say something against another coach about the way he speaks to the referee. Because we know that he's had instances in the past. Eddie Jones has never been someone who minces his words. You know, it'll be a bit like um, Michael Checker coming out and saying that you need to be more respectful at press conferences, you know, and not attack journalists, which he did on numerous occasions, or referees, I suppose. You know, it's if you're going to come out and you're going to say it, at the end of the day, you've got history as well. So this is what Eddie Jones actually told uh, BBC's Radio 5 earlier this week. And I quote, um, speaking on the on the um, the video itself and, and what should happen to Rasi Erasmus, Eddie Jones said the following. It should be dealt with quickly. We need to make sure that we have respect in the game um, because we are asking kids to be respectful to the referee. And if they see example of players or coaches being disrespectful to the referee, it gives them an excuse to do it at their level. Um, he then talked about the fact that he thinks that um, feedback should be given in a respectful way and there's an appropriate way to uh, talk to the um, officials. He's, I mean, he did say that he is a bit worried about the refereeing itself. So he went on to say that I think the game is in a good place, but we have to be careful. And I think there are some issues in the game we need to look at very carefully. And I think one of them is the diligence of the referees to referee the import of the part of the game as well. He said, Rusty made his famous video, and I don't think that is correct, but we need to make sure the referees work as a three a lot harder more than they do at the moment to ensure that particularly at the breakdown we get what we need to get, which is a fair contest between um, contest and continuity. But there is an appropriate way to do it, and, and it is being respectful to the referee. So now it's time for a little bit of throwback, shall we? Where previously... Uh, on the back of a 2020 red card to Monitor Logi in the Six Nations, um, whilst um, Ellis Gange had actually been binned as well, Eddie Jones said the following in the post-match press conference. Uh, I'll start. I'll start with what he said about the actual red card and about the fish, and then I'll move on to sort of some of the, the, the other comments he said, which were pretty backhanded towards the referee. So first of all. Um, 
We had people missing off the field and couldn't seem to do anything right by the referee. It was difficult. This was speaking after that incident last year. Our recess were tested, but we came through. We were a better team now than we were at the World Cup. We could play in every way. But he says over here, he says, I usually don't comment on decisions, but I find this bizarre and ridiculous. I don't see how you can tackle a guy now. It's absolute rubbish. There is no common sense shown. I don't know what Manu is supposed to do in that situation. I don't know how he's supposed to tackle the guy. How else do you tackle if you don't tackle with your shoulder? The guy is literally half a meter off the ground. Manu does everything he's supposed to be doing. He gets red carded. Come on, you can't tackle anymore. He then goes on to say, over here, um, we trained on Wednesday. The whole session was 13 versus 16. So we had some practice. We thought it might happen. Um, in the end, we were 13 against 16. It's hard. When you've got three-man advantage, you're going to do some damage. That's what happened. We had a numerical disadvantage, so it was tough against quality opposition. He then was asked who the alleged 16th man were for the other side, and he said, you work it out. Basically inferring that the referee was um, against England the entire time and was a 16th man for the opposition. How is that any different? How is that any different? I mean, look, I mean, it is slightly different. It's not quite as thing. But don't come here with, you know, you need to be respectful towards the referee after you've said something like that, where you've basically, you've gone to a post-match press conference and you spent the entire time talking about the fact that, yeah, I know we knew that Ben O'Keefe was going to be terrible. Um, you know, he were pay, we were paying at 60 men because the referee was on their side and we knew who was going to um, bin us. So, you know, you, you work it out though. You work out who that 16th man is. So he comes out and he slams the referee in a post-match press conference, you know, with no um, evidence, no, not sort of showing any video and stuff like that, just very much like that, basically saying they, that, they, that they, they knew that they didn't rate him, that they knew he was a bad referee and that they knew that they were going to, he was going to cheat and be um, against them. But that's all right. That's not disrespectful. But he then has the right to then go and call out Rassi Rasmus for the way he went about it, which was with video, with video evidence and stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying that, I mean, I'm not going to sit there agree with Rassi Rasmus or agree with Eddie Jones, but I don't see how somebody like Eddie Jones who then had to be sort of tapped on the wrist by, by Rugby Football Union and then RFU and the England Rugby uh, Board for his comments, stuff like that, so that he wasn't punished by World Rugby. I mean, this is somebody who has been, you know, punished several times for um, for 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 going after referees and and the comments he made. So, you know, you can't you can't sit there and accuse a referee of cheating and a year later and then say that it's disrespectful for another coach to come out and say that the referee didn't do a good job. It's just the, the, the hypocrite. I mean, it's just so hypocritical. You cannot, you can't do it. So, you know, I think it's quite frustrating that, you know, first of all, I think that we need to start moving on from this incident. And once whatever sanction World Rugby takes, we need to take it. We need to do it. We need to move on. Because I think that we are getting continuously drawn away from what is important. And that's what the 80 minutes are on the field. And Eddie Jones himself even then went on to talk about the British and Irish Lions series, the fact that it wasn't great rugby, but he said that rugby will bounce back. And, you know, you know, it was a good contest, but because of the no and there were no crowds, there will probably be, um, there's probably more sort of focus on the quality of rugby itself, which I sort of agree with. But you cannot come out literally a year, a year after accusing referee of basically cheating and then say that Rassi Rasmus has been disrespectful in the way he's gone about it. They're both different. They're both disrespectful in, in many ways. So Eddie Jones cannot come after it as far as I'm concerned. Let me know what you think. Do you think Eddie Jones had it? Um, you know, is he right? Is he right to comment on Erasmus? Do you back Eddie Jones? What is your thinking down in the comments below? Uh, smash like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel. As soon as we hear about what will happen to Rassi Erasmus as a result of this video, we will let you know. We will get release content and keep you up to date. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get the latest information. And that's all for me. I'll see you very soon. My name is Stephen, and thank you very much for watching.